In this part, we are going to do the server-side renders of the to-do list. So we have to back to the index.js, and then we use the next.js functions, and which is the get server-side props. And now you can see we have the cookies, and in next.js, this is no keys. So we have to import or install the no keys. So we type young add no keys. And this is the function that we just created in the Firebase admin, and which is this verify ID token. So we back to the index, and we have to import the verify token from the admin file. So you can see this. And we also have to import the no keys from And we also make a check on the off.js. And because we haven't set the cookies, set the token into the cookies, so we have to back to here. And then if there is user, we have to set the token to the cookies. Otherwise, we are going to set the empty string. And since it also hasn't import the nookies, so we have to import the nookies from nookies. Now we back to the index.js, and we already import the nookies and verify token. And there is some spelling mistake at the Firebase admin, and this should be verify, although this name is not a very big problem. And then we back to the index.js, and then we continue to see whether there are any problems, and we do not need the UID. So we get the emails from the token, then we can go to fetch our data. And actually, this is very similar to that inside the to-do list, because this is at the client side, and but the query is the same. We get the collections where the email is the current user email, and which is the same as the inside the index.js, and which is the same. And after that, we get the, all the documents, and then we initialize the to-dos. And for each doc, we are going to push to this to-do arrays. And we are going to get also get the ID, the document ID, and also the timestamp. And we format this like before, so it can be interpreted by the moment.js. So after that, we already has these to-dos. And because there is a timestamp information, and this is there is a need to stringify the JSON, so we already get the to-do prop, so we can pump into our components. So we back to the home, and we place on this, and then we pass these to-do props to our to-do list. So we already has the to-do props, so we can go to the to-do form, it should be to-do list. So we go to the to-do list and paste this to-do props here. And then we add another use event. And we are going to say if when the first render it has the to-do props, then we are going to set to be the json.pass because this is a string. So this will set the to-dos to these to-do props. So we can make a try by typing young dev on the terminal. And we can see there are some errors here. So if we continue to check, and we have an import the collections from Firebase. So we have to import the collections. And we also have to add all the others Firebase functions such as the query and order by, and where, and get docs. And then we save it. At the website, we can see there is an expected token U in JSON at position zero. And this is because we forget to import 
the database from our config file, so actually there is no information for the to do props. So if we refresh again, and if you refresh the page, you can see the to do pop up immediately without any loadings. So and we can also enter another to do, and we just type some random things here. And I think you may also aware the difference. So if you want to look at the difference for no server side rendering, we can go to the to do list and hide this use effect. So we do not use these to do props. And now if you refresh the page, you can see it takes some time to pop up these two to do. So now we go to uncomment this and save again. Now it back to server side render again.